Landscapes sculpted by time often appear at first glance to be natural monuments. Spectacular formations that science classifies as the result of volcanic activity or tectonic shifts. And yet, when we examine their shapes more closely, their repeating patterns and their internal symmetry, it becomes difficult not to compare them to the cross-sections of massive tree trunks. Devil's Tower in Wyoming, the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, Los Organos in La Gomera, Boyabat in Turkey, Guatapé in Colombia, The geometry is so precise that many of these formations resemble giant trunks as if once living trees had been cut and petrified over time. Today we call them mountains, hills, cliffs, but what if they are not? What if these structures are something else entirely? The mineralized remains of something that once lived. In the geological record of our planet, there are formations that don't fully align with conventional explanations. Almost perfectly hexagonal columns. Mountains with flat surfaces that seem to have been cleanly cut. Structures that repeat across continents as if following a shared pattern. And in the middle of the Arizona desert, the crystal trees of the petrified forest whisper stories of a forgotten past. For centuries, these formations have been attributed to the slow, controlled cooling of ancient lava flows, as well as the shifting and collision of tectonic plates. And yet, on the fringes of science, a few researchers have begun to ask, what if we're only seeing part of the process? What if some of these structures are not purely geological, but biological in origin? In biology, repeating structures like muscle fibers or the vascular bundles in a plant stem follow geometric patterns optimized for function. In nature, form follows function, and when that form is unusually regular, questions arise. Under specific conditions, silicon, one of the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust, can form stable, crystalline structures. And while it plays a minimal role in today's biology, its ability to produce complex repeating patterns is undeniable. Some scientists have proposed that in environments rich in silica, lacking free oxygen, and under stable temperatures, slow natural mineralization could occur within originally organic structures, even without any technological intervention. What we see today as solid rock could in fact be the preserved remains of ancient life, whose tissues were gradually replaced by mineral over time. Perhaps we're not just looking at stone, Perhaps we're seeing the remnants of something that once grew, resonated and changed alongside the Earth itself. Throughout its history, Earth has undergone episodes of profound imbalance, sudden shifts, environmental collapses, and interrupted cycles with no clear explanation. During one of those moments, an anomalous event of unknown origin took place. It affected both the atmosphere and Earth's magnetic field, triggering a sudden and extreme rise in global temperature. The consequences were far-reaching. What followed was not immediate destruction, but the silent beginning of a process of change that even today we may only be starting to understand. With the atmosphere disrupted, unusual conditions began to emerge, High concentrations of mineral particles, silica in the form of fine dust, and inert gases like argon began to accumulate in significant quantities. If such conditions persisted for centuries, Earth could have effectively functioned as a natural preservation chamber. In this environment, organic structures exposed to the mineral-rich atmosphere wouldn't decompose as they normally would. Instead, they would slowly begin to absorb elements from their surroundings. Biological decay would be halted. Time for them would stop. 
What emerged from that event was not instant destruction, but a long-term transformation, one written not in ash or fire, but in stone. Millennia passed, and as it has done time and time again throughout its history, Earth found a new balance. Life returned, bacteria reappeared, and over time, carbon became the foundation of dominant biological systems. New forms emerged, more sensitive to temperature, more dependent on water and oxygen. Earth became fertile once again, diverse, dynamic, alive. But it was not the same planet. Some elements never returned to what they once were. In its deepest layers, traces remained, unwritten records, formations that don't quite align with conventional explanations. According to modern geology, these are structures shaped by volcanic processes, the slow cooling of basaltic lava that, as it contracts, fractures into geometric patterns. But some have begun to question whether this explanation tells the whole story. Because sometimes, the patterns are just too perfect. Even today, many of the most intriguing structures on our planet remain without a definitive explanation. Some are classified as volcanic formations, others as mere accidents of time and erosion. But the patterns repeat across different continents, under varying climates, and in some cases with a level of precision that continues to challenge traditional models. What if what we call a mountain once had structure? What if what we think of as rock was at some point part of a mineral-based organism? Some have asked whether we're looking at the remains of colossal trees, once widespread and perhaps cut down in a massive event. By whom and why? The comparison with modern quarries is also unsettling. Could a global transformation have taken place? A kind of landscape reset in the distant past? In that hypothetical scenario, what we now call national parks or eroded formations might have a far more complex origin. On a planet where almost everything is recycled, the mineral remains, and what appears inert often holds a much longer story than we imagine. Perhaps we are not at the end of the mystery, but at its beginning, because in geology, even the most solid things can reveal a memory. If you're drawn to questioning what we take for granted, exploring the edges of science, history and the impossible, subscribe and join us on this journey.